say it is finished, you get married to a wife, you sleep your own, she sleep her own, you need a baby, it's not finished, the baby won't come. Mm, there are things that doesn't come by miracle. There are things you need to apply. Put effort to, to be able to achieve. Jesus says, is it finished? <laughs> you know, this morning when I woke up, I was just thinking, I say, most of us, most especially the Pentecostal, assume much things. We assume that everything can be done spiritually. That's why you see that the laziest place on this earth is Christianity. The laziest people so far. A man who is not educated wants to become a medical doctor. Father, make me a medical doctor. <laughs> is it possible? They come to you and say, I never know how to speak English before, but since I know but I'm not speaking English. No, your English still has error. <laughs> Go to school. Prayer does not tell you how to speak English. You, you need to be knowledgeable. That because knowledge is essential, which is what I preach in this talk, I'm supposed to pour emphasize on it. Only one place Paul prayed that your needs be met. When they gave needs to, when they gave to men to his need, he was touched and said, ah, even your poverty, you still find it to bring money to me. Or bring something. My God shall supply all your needs. We pray that prayer. And yet we don't give out. That prayer was prayed for givers. It's not for receivers. At all. Father, I want to go. Pastor said we should say one prayer for the week. Lord, I want to go. Let your word stand in my life. That my God shall supply all my needs. Don't read it that way. Read the 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 the, the, the protest, the, 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 the contest and the pretest to know what the scripture is saying. And before you pray that prayer, the pastor was saying all three times, these people don't come again with their money. Why? And you need money. You didn't bring out to offer to God and you are telling God, well, that, that, that understanding be enlightened. Because it's what you know that defends you. We might be wearing the same suit right now. We might be putting on the same credit card. We might go to the same invitation, the same party. But let me tell you, there is a time, a place we're going to get to where we are going. What I know and what you know will differentiate us. Yes, No matter how you try to manipulate it. Hey. I was talking to somebody. Else. Please help us love, like, share. If you are here with us and you, if you are here and you are with us on our platform, just go there and help us share so that other people can be part of today's message. And you are doing you are, you are doing good for the body of Christ. Help us share. Should I move on? In John 19, John 19, let's read from 28. After this, Jesus knew him that all things were not accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I test. Now they were set a vessel full of vinegar and they filled the spoon with what? Vinegar and put it upon I saw. Nine, eleven. But Christ became an high priest of good things to come. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands. That is to say, not of this building. Which means everything that God came to do in Christ was not for material things. They are spiritual. Because you matter to God. Your life matters to God. God find pleasing when you said that he needs to die for us. I told you yesterday that God is Jesus and Jesus is God. That God is God in creation. Jesus in what? In salvation or redemption and the Holy Spirit in regeneration. Hallelujah. 
God became human so that he can die for you and I. So that the law that has hold us guilt will be abolished forever. So that sin, or you learn something, or you do anything to get money. Church doesn't give money, and God doesn't give money. I'll keep saying it whether you like it or not. The only thing God does is that He gives you strength, He gives you wisdom to make words. Can I hear? Can I hear? Can I hear? Uh -huh. May I hear glory now? Praise God. I say praise God. So that's why you find out that those who are rich are those kind of people that say there are so many people that are rich go and check out check the history the owner of Mercedes Benz never knows God because God has given everything to the earth and given it to man even before Jesus came he said let them have dominion so the ability for you to cultivate gives back your resources. When you sleep in plenty time, you will suffer in harvesting time. See, as long as this earth remains, seed time and harvest time will never end. If you fail to plant, you will fail to eat. No matter how much you pray. That is why I, as a pastor, I find something to do so that I will not become loaded. Why? Because God doesn't print money. God don't have any currency. God is in spirit. Spirit don't use money. You only use money on this earth. So if God is printing money in heaven, it means that God is what? Money laundering. <laughs> I use this money that we make on earth to serve God. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So Christ has now become the high priest over all the good things that have come. He has entered that greater, more father came from village. Yes. My children go tomorrow now, they say, uh, somebody is telling them, I, 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 did their father not come from village? Yes. But do, do, those, we find out that those are not alive. Yes. Say, so, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Glory. 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 I am enjoying this, man. He said, with his own blood, remember, with his own life. Not the blood of goats and calves. He entered the holy place once for all time and secure our redemption forever. He entered once. Christianity, we have a problem. We, we don't have the ability to remember, to know that the offering of Jesus is for eternity. And because we fail to know who he is, that is why we walk in ignorance. That's why somebody can offend you, you keep it for years. Because you don't know what Jesus did for you. That's why somebody can offend you, you say, me with you, we don't go talk again. If Jesus had said, you with you, not go talk, devil will slap you. That is why we say, he hurt me too much. I will never forgive. Why? Because you don't know the finished work of Christ. You don't know what he's done. When he says it's finished, it means that the law and the prophet is over. There's no more place for anger. All things are passed away. Some of us, we bust with the money we have, cheeky change. When one thousand enter your account, you think that you're a big man. One thousand, when life people remove too much. When I begin to open our shoulder, 1,000. Even if, 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 if you have 100,000, cool down. And when we come together, let's come together in the name of the Lord. Let's show the proof of our Christianity. 
how I like living. Forgive those that offend you. Walk in love. Jesus said, by this all men will know you are my disciples. If you love one How many years will one spend for this life? What would the king have this? Hundred years is too small. You don't know what tomorrow will be. You can only tell off now. None of us know what the next hour will be. Because we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are not cultured way. We look at somebody as if it's a small boy. Sometimes we don't even know the age of the person. Now my fault to you. Not my fault to you. You people look at somebody sometimes and they, the pastor don't even know what they do. I tell you the truth, one day you want to meet Jesus. And you will know that I know what I was doing. Can I move on? Hey! Under the whole system, no, don't give me 26. Let me jump the other ones and go. If that had been necessary, like the killing of animals, if it had been necessary for our redemption, Christ would have had to die again and again. Ever since the world began, but now, once for all time, he has appeared at the end of the age to remove sin by not sin signals, he says sin. Not sins. The nature of sin of who he is. We assume church to be like a community gathering. Church is not a community gathering. Church is not an association of black people or white people. Church is God's own people. Ecclesia. Those called out of darkness into his marvelous God. And when you belong to one, you should abide to the rule and regulations of the church, which is the word of God. When you come into this meeting, it's totally different from our family secular meeting. This is neither Asian or Edo, Aousa or Yoruba. The church of God is not in Cameroon. No, 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 white, no Jews, no Gentiles. So the church of God is new life people. Hallelujah. People that are born out of darkness into his mother's life. We come here and misbehave as if we, we, if not we meet the pastor, we will not survive. I tell you the truth. God didn't call me into shame. Let us take heed of how we follow the word of God. Hallelujah. Because there is a great recompense of reward to everything we do. He spoke to us, Pastor, when we were praying on Wednesday. Yes. Now it is time. It is time. I'm taking over my job. It is time I'm coming to rule in the midst of my people. It is time I'm coming to change the narrative. It is time I'm coming to turn things of It is time. It is time. Yama said he spoke to me. As if pastor was in the house. <laughs> Everything we ask with the pastor talk. We are looking for where the pastor talk. Oh, foolish. <laughs> where the pastor talk, talk. Everything. Everything with the pastor talk. Everything. We always look for a way to push the problem to pastor. Yeah. And the rest is that one. Anyways, among all of you here, among my leaders, among the person is even more mad than the pastor. That was what I was to call him and say, I own no man, not nothing. Glory. I owe no man nothing. I am spent and been spent for the work of the Lord. Anybody say here that I owe you many things? Raise up your hand. 
He saw the little people own me. <laughs> Morally, spiritually, financially, you people own me. Greatly, yes, solutionally, yes, visitingly, yes, anything in you, you don't own me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go back to the scripture. If that had been necessary, if the shedding of animal blood, the sprinkling of blood had been necessary, Christ would have had to die again and again. Ever since the world began, but now, once for all time, he has appeared at the end of the age to remove sin by his own death as a sacrifice. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Oh, but Pastor, the Bible says that we have come to the place of blood sprinkling. No. You don't understand. No. When I say let's pray, don't always pray, God, give me money. You are wasting that time of prayer. Go out and work and get money. Go out and do business and get money. Don't use this place for money prayer. Money are in the hands of those who are knowledgeable, who know how to, to sow. Don't leave church because hey, this is a good church. I don't feel pay my rent. You don't feel pay your rent because you don't have knowledge to make money. If there is any prayer you pray at all, God give me opportunity. I don't go to that church again. They only pay Percy rent. We be carried out. <laughs> and you know what you go through in Caritas Hall? If I tell you, I say, bring your document and let me give it, you say no. But in, when you go to Caritas, you can easily give fair document. Those days we used to bring, bring Caritas food here. We tell somebody, bring your document so that we can submit to the same way to the wife buy, photocopy your passport. Do. But when you go to Caritas, you do, you do your color copy for them. So because of the sacrifice Jesus made for us, what else? In Romans 8 verse 1, he now says there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. And their feelings of guilt would have, been, would have disappeared. But instead, those sacrifices actually reminded them of their sins year after year. But it is not possible. Somebody says it's not possible. It's not possible. For the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. That is why when Christ came into the world, he said to God, you did not want animal sacrifice. Is somebody still in the house? Yes, sir. You did not want animal sacrifice. If God don't want animal sacrifice, it's the same as he doesn't want money sacrifice. You must give money to God before he blesses his car. It doesn't mean sacrifice, it means your heart. The pastor I will not give, then you are ignorant because you don't know what God did for you. If you know what God has done for you, you will give for the work of God to go for yes. You don't need to bribe God in giving. When you give so that God can give to you, you are bribing God and God cannot be bribed. We give to God when we see the finished work of God in our life. When you know what God has done for you, you can put hand in your pocket without the pastor asking anything and give 10,000 to the church and say, let the church carry on. Don't be five, five cents more. Some of us will give seventy five cents more and we think that that is the reason why the church is going on. The treasurer has cutting money, they are tired of cutting money. They now have to go to they now have to go to park every Monday and collect those coins uh, coins uh, uh, paper, paper bag or something. Coins uh, yeah, yeah. 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 When we finish, we say, ah, secretary, what are you still doing? They say that nah, money at the can. You think that is big money. When they come and they tell you, Pastor, it's 30 something euro. But you pastor will now say, But I pay 20 euro. How much do you let people come pay? 16 euro. <laughs> <laughs> and every Sunday we they change clothes, they come church. If you don't get new clothes, you know they come. 
Thank God for the gift of God. Hallelujah. No wonder I have a pastor there offering you went and buy offering God. Offering God was straight. When you come on, everybody was here. <laughs> when offering time reach, now we the desert. Out of the good thing when you do for me, Baba. From me inside the break and so bye bye. Hey, bye bye. <laughs> Make you take out with how much you have 50 cents? Keep the money, man. A time is coming when we all are going to keep our money and worship God. I've said this thing over and over years. A time will come. We are going to keep our money. We will worship. If this is a business that I am into, I am losing. You know, when I face the load, they make me lose. When I talk serious, I say, now the whole problem is there with you. Give some smile to somebody. Glory be to God. Traffic, if it's all a bad money, I am losing. Because ever since you never come, I don't see you. He's a good guy. Yes. Yeah. Ralph Philip has contributed percentage to the growth of this church. Yeah. I've made practice. Ralph Philip cannot be in the church. Hey, I tell somebody yesterday, is it somebody or in the church I see? Yeah. Ralph Philip cannot be in the church. I will say, I need 500 without Ralph Philip giving me 200. We yeah. can close this door. But I'll make somebody they preach like say the verse. <laughs> <laughs> glory be to God. Say uh -huh. Say uh -huh. Uh -huh. Say glory. glory. That is why when Jesus came into the world, he said to God, A body have thou prepared for me. We mean Joseph and Mary had no part in the birth of the body. Mary was only privileged to carry Jesus in the world. He said, A body have thou prepared for me. You did not want animal sacrifice or sin offering. Take note, God does not want animal sacrifice. Those of you who are on prayer or prayer meeting in the zoo, hey, so the seat for your prayer to be answered. Hey, I entered the prayer meeting one morning. Jesus Christ, you people. Even my church members, some of them, they so money for platform. And hey, they don't have so question and not for the pre coins come. I know that women so often. When they that prayer meeting the morning, share, share, we are sharing. Even when they don't say share, you are sharing. When they say share, they have to share here. All that is an official. All that is an official for prayer. I wake up anyone on the shower. Ah, for good the PM as you may pray that part of your shower. This is a longer strategy. <laughs> From this church in two Sundays. Some of Nayeka with greediness, because they pollute the people with greedy heart. Mr. Oko, is he not so pastor? Oko? Hallelujah. Two Sundays he took record of it. We bought two bus here. We judge member. You know no, those bus were less than six thousand. Now today we start with his memory. Muna, don't worry. I go burn you, boss, keep you now. <laughs> Me, personally, it has been my desire that I'm going to build a cathedral. I've said it over 40 years now. Me, personally, I go buy new boss. New boss, brand new one. Not less than 25,000 euros, I'll give this church. No other person will say me to <laughs> we are saying amen. Nobody is all part of Me personally, I'm going to pay the rent of this away title one full year.
has been my desire that one day my brother Philip, I call him a brother. Yeah. There were two people I call a brother. Brother Philip and Brother Henry. I call them my, my younger brothers. I love them so well. Whether you like it or not. If you don't like it, I love them. The two of them, I love them so well. And they contributed positively to the ministry. There's never a time I call the two of them that they never answer. I will repeat it again and again. I'm not a man who forgets tomorrow, who forgets yesterday. Brother Philip, Brother Henry, Brother Monde, Brother Peter. Brother Monde, I think Brother Monde is here. He don't come to church always, but he always direct people to this church. <laughs> And whenever we are doing anniversary, apart from this year's anniversary, they are always here to do the pounding. I keep too busy. Guys, did they your eye? Guys, did they feel the pie? I like this guy anyway. Since I don't feel bloody, can you deploy the eye? At your presence, every neighbor. And every tongue confess that you are the Lord. Father, in your presence, we present your daughter good before you. And any time presented in your presence, never go void. That there is a great manifestation upon that thing. Father, we pray that your daughter will live and live to grace, from grace to grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, as the father and the mother will to bring her to your presence, let your presence continually to abide by her in every endeavor of her life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anywhere the nation and name wrong you, because your name is in her, it will never manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Kupet, I will find her. She will be a daughter of grace according to the name given by the parents to her. Everything about her shall be good Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for accepting your daughter Amen. and your name be glorified Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, worship you, bless you, the name you are here. Oh, no, Lord, you, Lord, as you try to be brought to God, just as Samuel was brought to the uh, tabernacle, Father, he won't run on us, fall to the ground. Father, we manifest yourself over the family are come. With the child of God, prove yourself in their lives of God, man. Thank you because you are worthy of to praise the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every hindrance and uh, uh, the device of the enemy will rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. Consign the child in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We worship you, we bless your holy name. Jesus. This is the day you are made, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Let this day become a reference point, O oh God. Thank you because you are worthy of praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. And the child was brought to the house of God. And the child was strong and grew in wisdom. And Anna brought Samuel to the house of God. And the words of Samuel never fall to the ground. God, they have come to the ark of God here. Where you answer prayers where you raise people for your kingdom. Lord, we ask you, rest your hand upon this precious child. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The father and the mother was smart enough to present her before the Lord. Father, take this precious girl and give her your wisdom. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As the grace of God's servant in this house is poured upon her today, that grace will follow her to the topmost top in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, precious Father, for it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Father, I thank you and bless your name. I appreciate you for your wonderful gift to this family. I thank you, Lord, for all you've done. I exalt your name, Almighty and everlasting Father. Lord, I present this child to you. 
asking you, Lord, that your protection will continually be upon her. Amen. Jesus. As she grows, she grows in your wisdom, Amen. she grows in your knowledge, Amen. she grows in grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that no weapon formed against her in life will ever prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That the power in the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree that the glory of God continually radiates over her life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. She is kept safe. Our parents are kept safe. Our grandparents are kept safe. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are praying that none of these things shall come upon her in Jesus' name. As you present your prayer, glory. Father, receive it. With honor, we ask Father, receive it with your glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for what you have done. We decree it shall be well with her. Amen. All the days of our life it shall be well with her. Amen. No evil shall be found on her. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What that brought children down will not flood her. Amen. What made children to fail will not fail her. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. She will be the first. The dedication shall be raised. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the time he gets to marry, he will get a good husband. That is what we call you, and that is what we will be. You will shine as a shiny gold. You will reign in life. You have the abundance of gifts. The gift of righteousness will abide with you. You will go from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, no evil will come near you. No weapon from the gate will prosper. Today you will shine in the Lord. You will go from glory to glory. You will be a threat to the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus, you will be a solution to every problem. In the name of Jesus, you will have reign in abundance life. We present you before God and before the gathering of the people today. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God's favor by taking care of the child. Pray her all in the fear of the Lord that it will not be bad for Grace upon you in Jesus' name. We are commemorating of the power of this resurrection. If you please say, yeah, Amen. Amen. So, on behalf of the officiating minister, I say, this is a talking to you people.
also do your all for you as many that are waiting for the fruit of your womb in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatsoever may be that your heart desire, even though you are not waiting for baby, that your heart desire will be met in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we are going to do baby uh, gift for the baby. Whatsoever you have for the baby, please let us present it so that we just already do that and uh, come and go for the presentation. Gift for the baby. To bless the Amen. thanksgiving by the power of the Holy Ghost, that even as they came out in towns, that thanksgiving will never cease in their life. Amen. This life of this child is the life of God. Amen. She will give shelter to Zoe. Zoe. All the days of our life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. 